Okay, separate video from the series. Um, it has come time to start making some brackets that are using some thicker material. In this case, we got a whole lot. Three sixteenths. So with that being said, uh, we need a way to bend that. And my finger brake is way too light duty to do that. So uh, we're gonna use my hydraulic press. You might, you know, you can see it in the back there. We're gonna use that to make a little um, press brake. So I, I don't really have the need to, to bend gigantic sheets of 3 16th inch uh, metal uh, on this press brake. So for the sake of economy, it's only gonna be a foot long. All right, so we have the, uh, the upper of the hydraulic press now on the table, this upside down, uh, just for reference. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a uh, 12 inch section of this, I think this is 3 8 bar. Um, this is gonna be the ram, or the, the press brake part of this, the finger, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and we'll try to get a feel as to how we're going to uh, adapt these two. So I got this piece from the uh, scrap pile and I don't know if this was intentional or not, but ends are not square, so let's do that. <sighs> I really hate grinding thick metal like this, so let's try to get this as close as I can on the first shot. Feel me? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this suck? It doesn't matter what speed I put it on, if I let it heat up for about five seconds while I'm using it, it just tweaks out and goes full speed. It's weird. Alright, I'm going to attempt to grind the bevel now. I'm just going to use some Harbor Freight grinding wheels for that, Let's see how it goes. Here's this piece all beveled and chamfered and sanded and filed. It's not too bad for hand work, I'd say good enough for, for what I'm doing. So here's the base. Um, it's extremely hot right now, even though I just tacked it in. That hurt. Um, it's a 3 inch by 4 inch by 12 inch, obviously, plate. And we got uh, 3 8 by 1 inch bars, five of them, and they're 6 inches long across the 4 inch plate. And then we have this miscellaneous hot rolled uh, L bracket that I got in the uh, the reclaim section at Industrial Metal Supply, but this should be pretty good. And then I'll build off the side rigging to keep the, uh, the bevel plate in place. All right, so uh, I got some locator tabs onto the main uh, press piston thing. Uh, the way I decided to fasten the press to the, uh, the arbor, I guess, is through the, the holes for the spring. So this is like an upside down view, but basically the spring that compresses the, uh, the bottle jack is bolted on via these two holes. So I figured I'd just tap into those. And right now I'm just uh, making some more brackets to align it, um, not in this way, but in this way. All right, well, uh, here it is. Springs are pretty stretched. So I'm gonna try to re-drill another hole along this, uh, this path so I can get Closer to operating range. Give me one second. This will be split up. Some 3 16th inch plate, four inches long. Uh, so I always want to be bending the axis. This is where it's actually pressing. This is just for support to keep it from tilting. So uh, this is, I'm not having even tried 3 16th inch yet. So let's see if it does it. Sixteenths. Let's see. Oh no way. Okay, let's relieve it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I went over. But hot damn, look at that. That's pretty nice. 
Well, hell yeah.